These are a pair of tweezers for SMD rework that's made of a non-magnetic high-strength steel alloy and this is a very strong alloy that's not gonna distort, it's not gonna bend. I've been using this one for quite a while and it's just as good as brand new. That tip is very fine and uh, it did not bend at all. Also, most importantly, this does not magnetize under any circumstances. So, I have a strong rare earth magnet here and while the tweezers will get attracted to it ever so slightly, it's not strongly attracted to it and it will not magnetize at all. So even if I leave that tweezer tip on here for a long time, it will not magnetize. So I have some components here and if I now try to pick them up, uh, they're not going to be attracted to the tweezers at all. So this tool does not magnetize. So this is a perfect tool for uh, working with metals and small parts and you never want to have it magnetize or it'll basically become useless. On the other hand, these custom machined pickup heads for uh, my pick and place will magnetize uh, almost instantly uh, if such a magnet will get close to their tip. So um, fortunately, they're made of a ferromagnetic alloy that magnetizes very quickly. And also, unfortunately, these tools, since they're custom made just for this machine, um, are very expensive, so the manufacturer can virtually charge any amount of money for these, especially the finer the tip, the higher the cost of the tool. So if I end up ruining one of them by magnetizing it or just by destroying it somehow, then I have to buy a replacement and it's going to be very expensive. So they might as well try to make these from a uh, steel alloy that's non-magnetic, such as uh, the one I use for these very cheap SMD rework tweezers. Okay, so today I'm making some Motinos and I have a little problem. So just to get you an idea, I'm using magnets to hold my panels down when they're in the machine, just to make sure the panel is flat to the machine. Otherwise, you know, as it's pick and placing, the panel can move or parts can fly off and things like that. Now, on my previous panel here, I made a mistake and I, while I was uh, replacing a magnet, the head was right here and the tool was on the head. And somehow, the magnet ended up on the tip of the, of the tool. So, unfortunately, these tools are made of a metal that is not um, non-magnetic, is not anti-magnetic in any way. And it magnetizes very quickly. And this happened before. And uh, the problem is, once this is magnetized, of course, it will just uh, pick up parts from uh, from anywhere, right? So if the part is on the, on the head right there, uh, it can mess up the placement. So that's, uh, that's a very bad thing. So this has to be completely non-magnetized in any way. Otherwise, uh, bad things happen and I can't use the machine. So what I want to show you is how I demagnetize this head. One thing would be nice if uh, the makers of this pick and place, uh, DDM Novastar, uh, would make these from material that is anti-magnetic, non-magnetic. So no matter what you do, if you put it on a magnet, it doesn't get magnetized and this problem never happens, okay? So I'm gonna show you how I actually do this. Uh, real quick here, uh, if you Google um, metal demagnetization, you'll find all kinds of uh, articles and uh, the important thing here is this Curie temperature point and uh, different metals have a different Curie temperature point and it's very hot, right? Uh, so for steel, which I believe these tools are made of, uh, some kind of steel, uh, when steel is heated above its Curie temperature, it will become austenitic and lose its magnetic properties. When it cools back down, it will go through a reverse transformation. It will contain no residual magnetic field. Okay, so um, I'm not going to do anything scientific here. I'm just going to heat it up. Uh, so it's got to go beyond that Curie temperature. And uh, I've done this before. This happened before, so that's how I know it works. I'm just going to heat it up red hot, keep it there for some time and then uh, let it cool back down and it will lose its magnetic properties. So 
becoming a little reddish. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera. But yeah, it does take a while. Even though the tip is very thin. This tool is used for placing 0603 resistors, but not smaller. It can place uh, even small micro switches. Uh, I use this to place most of the components on the Motino, except the Atmega chip and the flash chip. But everything else, this tool can pick and place. Come on. Yeah, it has a little color, but it, it doesn't want to go back past that point. I remember last time I did this, it took like a couple minutes. Just doesn't want to do it. I don't know if uh, my last heating of it um, caused the metal to change its properties and not heat up as quickly. So I'm using my soldering sponge to kind of cool it down. Not even sure if that's completely recommended for this demagnetization. It says as it cools down, I, um, I don't know if it's better to just let it cool down by itself or just use a forceful method to cool it down. Okay, let me find a component. Not sure if you can see that. It's an 0603 resistor. And it doesn't pick it up. Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, this is this is none. Yeah, so that's how you do it. If you ever have a tool or uh, anything that is magnetized and it causes problems, then you can use this method uh, for doing that. You just use a torch, uh, heat it up. I'm surprised this uh, didn't get red hot. Um, now there's screwdrivers, right, uh, which can get magnetized and there's a tool for that. Uh, for these German Weha branded um, screwdrivers I have this tool and you can magnetize and demagnetize them with with this tool you just kind of do it in, in like steps and uh, it, it demagnetizes them for this tool I tried that of course right that was my first thought just do this for a million times and it didn't work that's when I started researching how I can do this differently so that I don't have to spend uh, you know a couple hundred bucks on this tool to buy a new one and then risk having it to magnetize again when I when I make a mistake again uh, you know this should actually be made of a material that's as hard as this one but doesn't magnetize so again DDM Novastar one thing to to work on there okay so hey thanks for watching I hope uh, it's useful and you uh, can solve a problem similar to this uh, you can subscribe to my channel to get notified uh, when I upload new videos and check out my other videos and other projects.